Hello guys, um, welcome back. Um, now we're going to continue with this um, process, um, the uh, retopologizing of this model. Um, as you can see now, um, I have done half of the model. I think it took about three hours, four hours to work. But just imagine trying to do something like this inside Maya. It would take you probably, I don't know, a couple of days, if not more. And probably a lot of coffee as well. So, and I guarantee you it's not going to look as good as this. Now, what's the next step we have to do? Um, just to let you know, guys, yeah, just before we continue, what, what's the next step? Um, just, to, just to show you that I have done all the symmetry already, like I showed you in the last tutorial. You se I selected all the edges, and so in this case, all the vertices, and then I just created this zero symmetry, and then it's all being in the middle. Now, if you want to create more detail, like for example, I did here in the face, um, I put more loops here because obviously this is going to be uh, animated, so I needed that. And I follow what I thought was the best um, geometry in order for me to animate. I put like you know extra loops, like you know the little joints bend here and here. I put more here as well, the tail, um, the neck, the face. That's where I put all the emphasis. And by the way, if you want to know how to do this um, uh, detail, then I strongly advise you that you go on the uh, on uh, the Topo Gun website and then have a look at the tutorials out there. You know, it's, it's pretty straightforward. You're gonna learn the software in uh, probably about a few hours work. But just to let you know, if you want to just create, let's say that this is not enough detail for you here, like that. So just double click here, just like Maya. Uh, let's say here, so I can create this line. If you want to put detail here, it's very easy. Double click there, create all the edges loop here, and then you just say um, connect, and it automatically creates the um, the edge here in the middle. There are ways that you can just select this and um, uh, just select this, and then just delete them. You can just go here and say you can just say I don't know, just delete uh, somewhere here, maybe here. Anyway, you can just go and find out how to do that. Um, so you, you go here, you go to let edges, delete. So it's, it's pretty straightforward. So I'm just going to undo that. I'm going to just do it. And if you just go back here to square one. So now, okay, so we have here. So I just wanted to tell you one thing. Um, what is the whole process of, of having uh, the retopologizing? Um, if you do in Maya, you can create a low res. You bring it back into ZBrush and then you pass on the detail from the original tool, in this case the model that you have there, back into the low res. You keep dividing and then you add all the detail. And then you're back to where you were and you keep working or you present it or you just start working on and finish up and render and export all the maps, blah, 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 etc. But here, one of the cool things about this software is that you can automatically transfer all the detail that you have in the original reference back into the high res. Okay, so how do we do that? Um, if you see this button here, sub D, if you just click here, it's going to give you a preview of what it's going to look like if you were to subdivide this low res version and then apply the detail back on. So if you give it a second, it's quite demanding. There we go, sometimes. There you go, it's a bit dodgy there, but don't worry, that's because um, I have a mirror to the other side. But that's okay, don't worry about this. Um, once you mirror and close it, then it shouldn't be, it's because it doesn't really know how to close this uh, shape here. So, as uh, you can see here, that you sort of can see the detail there. You see the basic shape there, but obviously all the veins and stuff that are lost is because the subdivision of this for the preview is always um, dependent on the settings that you have here and the preferences. If you go into subdivision preferences, at the moment it's saying, hey guys, I only got three levels. So it's being like it's you've been taking that low rest and you've been dividing a couple of times or three times inside ZBrush and then you apply. So if you have the low rest and you apply two subdivision or three subdivision in Samaya, it would probably reach a few hundred thousand polygons because obviously this here at the moment is only a few thousand polygons. Um, then you can probably get something decent, but you will lose detail. But the whole point of this using this software is that you can regain all that detail back. Now, um, if we put this three, four, five, and then we undo, th uncheck this, and we click sub D, this is gonna take a long time because it's gonna divide one, two, three, four, five times, and then it's gonna display, and then it's gonna take a lot of memory, and most likely it's gonna crash. So you only use level three here for pre-visualization purposes, probably something to like, you know, to spot issues like the one you I just shown you here, or the one you just saw there. I'm pretty sure it's because this stuff is open here, but don't worry about that. 
um, I'm gonna fix that in a minute. So um, and obviously to see problems like we just seen, but this is only for previs, okay? Once you uh, say, okay, I'm happy with it, and you've pumped up this to five, six, and then um, you have to, let's put it to I don't know, five, let's put it to five, and then we change this to uh, set tool, because we are using a set tool, which is the matbox, this is called matbox tool, so we're not using matbox, we're using ZBrush, so we're using the Z tool, so it's sort of having a, something that take care inside that make sure that it's compatible with ZBrush and then you say done and later on we export it here when we say save and then you're gonna save a high res version with all that detail but don't do it in the, in the viewport here because most likely you can crash and if you haven't saved all you have to do is obviously make sure that you save before you do that so save a scene as save that and you save a file that is .tgs which is the proprietary format for um, topogram okay so now what's next? Okay, we got the symmetry. We have first thing to do, we just have to make sure that it goes to the other side. All we have to do guys is select anything. Could be an edge, could be a point, could be a face, and all you have to say is, say is uh, create symmetry. You click this button and it automatically take everything from this side and then put it on the other side. So obviously at the moment we have quite few faces, so 2,200 faces, so it's gonna take a little bit of time to pass to the other side. Bear in mind, it's a little bit slow the viewpoint. I noticed because of this um, capture and software that I'm running, so I have to be clear this. The setting has been a little bit slow. It should be going up. There you go. So we have now. You can see now that I, everything was passed to the other side. Beautiful. Now, obviously, you can see this thick line here. That means that the model is not being merged. Now, if you want to work on this, all you have to do is I think it's easy at this stage for the we done what we done. I think it's easier. We just, um, I think it's uh, what do you call that? View ref. I think uncheck that, and you can see that the reference is gone. And now, and I think in here, see through. I think it's no, see through. No, uh, I think it's um, view mesh. Yeah, view mesh. And check that, and then you can see now the where the thick line is. Okay. So now, if you um, Right guys, um, what I done was I selected the um, the edges at the end here, and then I hit a look, and then automatically it just select the whole thing. Now what I normally do is I convert this to vertices, and I think I think you go into um, select and you say to vertices, and now only the vertices are selected, and I just don't want to I don't want to select edges or faces, and then these uh, uh, vertices that I have here, I don't want them to be selected, so this one here. So I press Control and marquee select, so I deselect them because those are like the mouth gauge, and I don't want to play with them. I just want to merge the ones in the middle. There might be a couple of these missing here, but we're gonna select them individually and then merge them later on. And I think once you have that, all you have to do is say uh, merge uh, with. give it a second and it should merge all of them
back now um, it did a pretty good job it's all there all selected uh, you can still see it there is a thick line right there the back here you see this thick line there it means because we forgot or we didn't select this here so you had to select one of them it says uh, merge with and it merges with the closest you see how the lines don't thin the same happened here you select here you said um, merge with and it's now closed so now, if you want, you can just go and give it a preview and see what it looks like. Um, I think we're going to search view ref, and we're going to say view mesh, and you can see the thing. So we're going back to the way it was. Now, just remember what we did earlier about the subdivision. So if you go into preferences, remember that we put it to 5. So let's put it back to 3 so we can preview in the viewport, so we can see what happened in the mouth here with salt. Nothing happens because the mouse cage was selected and it was inverted because it's supposed to have the normals pointing in one side of the mouth and then instead of the other side and I think I didn't know how to <coughs> sorry how to work it out so I'm gonna put it temporarily here back to three I'm just gonna say done and I'm just gonna um, um, let's see here I'm just gonna go there and have a look let me go and double check if it's it there so yeah we're back to three that's done and we're just gonna hit this button sub D and it's gonna take a little bit of time to do that you see how it's gone the bar from one two and now there okay so it's still having the issue in the mouth there don't know exactly what happened there it could be weird there might be something flipped there that is causing that issue so uh sub this and i'm gonna i'm not gonna see the reference i'm not going to see the mesh and see what is happening here so most likely is the lines there that is not producing were too close and I didn't so anyway we could in theory uh, delete the mouse cage and then forget about it I think it's the mouse cage that is causing the issue I, mm, you can actually create this mouse cage later on you can bring it inside mine and then extrude it inwards that's it because it's going to be inside the mouse you're not going to see anything there really if you're going to when I did this I put this but then I put I put the um, the mandible and I put the um, the teeth and everything as extra piece of geometry so teeth and gum and tongue are all different geometries. So this is only for me just to have to sort of position and stuff and the eyes as well. So I know where things are. But I think um, let's ignore that for now. So let's ignore. Let's say that this works and stuff. But don't worry about that. We we can fix that later on. But um, if we, what's the next step now? We're gonna do. It? So um, I'm just gonna go back to the way where, and I'm just gonna go and yeah. I think that's that's the stuff. He doesn't know where to stick to. I think that's what happened. So I'm just gonna say view mesh. So let's say you go there. Don't do the mouse cage, guys. It might give you issue, but don't worry about that. So just remember, I'm gonna export two things from here: a low res and a high res. I'm gonna show you later on what happens. So uh, if I want to export the low res, it's very simple. All you have to do is uh, you don't have to have anything selected. So you have to do is just say you say save a scene as, and instead of just going TGS, which is a proprietary soft uh, format for Topogun, you just click here and say save as an OBJ. And it's going to put in scenes here. So you can probably go up and put in meshes. And if you put here as low, uh, low res um, retopo jack. And I say save. And that is saving this geometry we created. It's not saving the reference. The, the reference is only, for, like it says, for reference. It's only for you to, as a guideline, so the points stick to the shape. What you need is this guy. This is the bad boy that you're going to animate. This is the bad boy that you're going to apply the um, the shaders, the textures, all that sort. Now, um, we had that. So now we had to export the smooth version. Obviously, just to reinforce it, we have an issue with the mouse, but don't worry about that. Let's ignore that. But just remember, try not to work with mouse cages inside here because it's, a, it's because it's concave going inside. It doesn't know where to point the normal. It's going to it's only want to stick to the head or stick to the mouse cage because they're both in the same sort of perimeter. <coughs> so, so the next thing we have to do now is export the high res. Okay. So now just remember that sub D is only for previous. So we have to go back to sub D, go into preferences, and then pump up this guy to, let's say six. Okay. Well let's put it to five. So we say five. Um, make sure that subtool compatibility here, subtool is uh, in subtool, not in matbox, and then you said done. 
and then you go here in subdivision you set save and now in meshes take this guy here so it keeps um, consistent and we're gonna call this the high res retopo jack obj so we're gonna have two objs a high res and the low res we have over here we say save so now this is gonna take a little bit of time so i'll come back when you finish and the file mo uh, the file most likely is gonna be uh, fairly big and um and I, i'll see you in a second and then i'm gonna go back to um, uh, zbrush and i explain to you what you're gonna do to do next